chapter 22, Yahweh said, Go down to the house of the king of Judah and speak this word there. Hear Yahweh's word, king of Judah, who sits on David's throne, you, your servants, and your people who enter and by these gates. Yahweh says, Execute justice and righteousness and deliver him who is robbed out of the hand of the oppressor. Do no wrong. Do no violence to the foreigner, the fatherless, or the widow. Don't shed innocent blood in this place. For if you do this thing indeed, then kings sitting on David's throne will enter and by the gates of this house, riding in chariots and on horses, they, their servants, and their people. That if you will not hear these words, I swear by myself, says Yahweh, that this house will become a desolation. For Yahweh says concerning the house of the king of Judah, you are Gilead to me, the head of Lebanon. Yet surely I will make you a wilderness, cities which are not inhabited. I will prepare destroyers against you, everyone with his weapons, and they will cut down your choice cedars and cast them into the fire. Many nations will pass by this city, and they will each ask his neighbor, Why has Yahweh done this to this great city? Then they will answer, Because they abandoned the covenant of Yahweh their God, worshipped other gods, and served them. Don't weep for the dead. Don't bemoan him, but weep bitterly for him who goes away, for he will return no more, and not see his native country. For Yahweh says, Touching Shalom the son of Josiah, king of Judah, who reigned instead of Josiah his father, and who went out of this place, you won't return there any more, that he will die in the place where they have led him captive, you will see this land no more. Woe to him who builds his house by unrighteousness and his rooms by injustice, who uses his neighbor's service without wages and doesn't give him his hire, who says, I will build myself a wide house in spacious rooms and cuts out windows for himself with a cedar ceiling and painted with red. Should you reign because you strive to excel in cedar? Didn't your father eat and drink and do justice and righteousness? Then it was well with him. He judged the cause of the poor and needy, so then it was well. Wasn't this to know me, says Yahweh, that your eyes and your heart are only for your covetousness, for shedding innocent blood, for oppression, and for doing violence. Therefore Yahweh says concerning Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, they will lament for him, saying, A my brother, or a sister, they will not lament for him, saying, A lord, or a his glory. He will be buried with the burial of a donkey, drawn and cast out beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry out. Lift up your voice in Bashan and cry from a barren, for all your lovers have been destroyed. I spoke to you in your prosperity, but you said, I will not listen. This has been your way from your youth, that you didn't obey my voice. The wind will feed all your shepherds, and your lovers will go into captivity. Surely then you will be ashamed and confounded for all your wickedness. Inhabitant of Lebanon, who makes your mess in the cedars, how greatly to be pitied you will be when pangs come on you. The pain is of a woman in travail. As I live, says Yahweh, though Kaniah the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, were the signet on my right hand, I would still pluck you from there. I would give you into the hand of those who seek your life, and into the hand of them of whom you are afraid, even into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and into the hand of the Chaldeans. I will cast you out with your mother who bore you into another country where you were not born, and there you will die. But to the land to which their soul longs to return, there they will not return. Is this man Kaniah a despised broken vessel? Is he a vessel in which no one delights? Why are they cast out, he and his offspring, and cast into a land which they don't know? O oh, earth, 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 hear Yahweh's word. Yahweh says, Record this man is childless, a man who will not prosper in his days, for no more will a man of his offspring prosper, sitting on David's throne and ruling in Judah.